My first question is easy. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Tired yet? Well, tiredness is part of, you know, tiredness is a relative concept. Uh, what makes me going is that there is a mission. Do you feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders? At least the weight of the county? Yes, it does. It does feel because there's a, the way we have to operate in, in our um, health department, getting the right information, accurate information, and providing that information in a timely basis uh, to individual people, to their loved ones, as well as to the leadership. I think there are multiple uh, you know, moving pieces there which we have to put together. Dr. Indu Gupta's resume shows how she's prepared. A medical degree from India, master's in public health from SU and Johns Hopkins, hospital experience at UCLA, the Philadelphia VA, and St. Joseph's in Syracuse, and years of private practice. In this crisis, we have no treatment. We have no vaccine. What do we have? The people. You and me and us and everybody. What can people do? to protect themselves and their loved one. The power of people should not be underestimated. When people rally, the tide turns. The doctor not only practices what she preaches, she takes it a step further. To stay healthy on the front lines, she social distances from her husband, a local nephrologist. Uh, my one daughter had their birthday a few days ago, so we did like a Zoom. My other daughter, uh, my younger daughter, arranged the, like a Zoom party. <laughs> Even the doctor needs a reminder from a friend to find time for herself. Uh, and she said, how are you? I said, I'm good. And she said, are you doing your meditation? I said, not really. And then she said, why aren't you doing it? You are the one who were used to teach me. While she's teaching all of us, she's learning too from the people she helps. They nurtured me, I nurtured them. I always say, my patient made me who I became. And truly, I became, a, I think, a good mother. And maybe a good wife, I hope, and a, a, a good health commissioner. Um, I owe to my patient. Of course, I had to ask the follow-up question of Dr. Gupta if she's back on track with her meditation and yoga. She says since that phone call with her friend, she's fitting in about five minutes per day, but would like to get to 10 minutes. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.